Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest edition of Book Trip After Dark, a Merrill Moss Media production. Today, I have the absolute pleasure of chatting with New York Times bestselling authors Alexandra Ivey and Laura Wright about their 1001 Dark Nights novella, Rage Killian, part of their, their Bayou Heat novella series. Thanks so much for joining us today, ladies. It's great to have you guys here. Thanks for having Thank us. Uh, it's awesome having double trouble today. I've never done a two author interview, so this is awesome. Um, yeah, we're trouble. also happy to <laughs> we're also happy to announce that we are giving away an author's favorite things bag, two bags. So enter to win on book trip after the live chat. Oh, not to um, us. So you know what? yeah, <laughs> like a mystery bag, mystery bag, Yay. full of stuff. So before we begin our questions, can you bring us up to speed on Rage Killian and give us some background on this novella series that you've developed? Go, oh, Alice. First, okay. 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 Um, actually, Bo, uh, the Bayou Heat started a couple years ago, and it was crazy mm -hmm. how it started. It was one of those just a telephone conversation where we started it with, you know what would be crazy? We should do a series together. And yeah. the next thing we do, and it was that fast. It was like three months later, we had our first book out. And, and we were drinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I think, yeah, I do think That's so. important to know. <laughs> That's really how this started. Yeah. <laughs> One too many margaritas and Bayou Heat was born. But it was crazy about with the self pubbing how fast it went from a crazy conversation to being out. And now the world is insanely populated with this huge number. It's if we yeah. should have uh, got up our, our, our Bible so everyone could see how thick it is now. But it's been a crazy ride for us. And so you self pub these titles, but you guys are both traditionally published as well. So how has that right. been? How has that been like the two worlds kind of working in those different aspects? Busy. Yeah. But, no, but in a in a great way. You know, the best part of this whole thing, honestly, to I mean, is that we get to work together. We have so much fun together, and we have this crazy way. I I I see it a lot too in reviews that her story and my story just seamlessly work well. You know, work together. That's amazing. Um, so it it works really well for us being both traditionally and self published together. Um, you know, I think it it's a lot more time, you know, to put in, but the time that we put in is so enjoyable and so much fun. And I think also, don't you think, Alex, that because our readers love this world so much, that just fuels it even more for us. Yes. It's and every time when I'm when I'm writing my self pub or my, my traditional <laughs> pub, when I go back to the uh, Bayou Heat, it actually feels like going home. It really does. It feels like I know this world so much. Yeah. And then um, whatever uh, Laura ends with is just what I start with. So and she's same with already Alex. gone to a place. Yeah. yeah. We, we just, just go follow after. each other. Yeah. And I would have never really? gone there, you know. Yeah. So it's a new opening for me. And it's like so exciting for me. Wow, you're on the same page, pun intended. That's amazing. Yes. You guys are lucky to have found each other to work with. So, I know, um, I don't know how it happened. No, amazing. synergy. Margaritas. <laughs> so, or, you know, <laughs> I keep saying it, but I honestly, you know, that clearly did something. <laughs> Secret margarita. Um, so yes. for those who don't know, um, some of the stuff about Rage Killian. What is the Pantera? What is that all about? Can you explain that a little? Laura? The Pantera. The Pantera <laughs> is a group of uh, shifters, mm -hmm. Puma shifters, that have been uh, in the bayou for how long, Alex? What's it been? For centuries, they've been in the bayou. Yeah. They've been in the bayou for centuries. They have been, um, oh, I still have beach in my brain. You have to do it. Yes, do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. when we first started it, it was, they were on the brink of extinction. So mm -hmm. there was two uh, goddesses who created them. One, you know, yep. kind of the flip sides, good and evil. And um, mm -hmm. they were on the edge of, of actual extinction. So that's kind of they where we started. They haven't been able to so. reproduce at all. They haven't, right. for, I think it's been 
50 years. 50 yeah, years. 50 years. They haven't been able to produce any offspring. Right. So they're dying so, out. Yeah. So we wanted to start it, you know, just like this. These people are dying out. And that's how yeah. we started it. So it started just kind of seriously with a bang. It was like desperation. And then yeah. uh, Pun the intended. very first book. Pun <laughs> so the, At the very, very first book, a girl comes up pregnant. So everyone's like oh, insanely shocked go. out of their mind. So that's how it that's starts right. off. With the bang. Now, are these... Are these um, creatures that you made up? Is this a real Louisiana folklore, or is this something that you made up? This, I think, no, it, was, it, was, it was both. I mean, we definitely made up yeah. that world and the legend yeah. behind it, but we took from, you know, Alex has has lived, not in the bayou, but in Louisiana. Right, close by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So she knew about the surroundings and the um, yeah. and the people. And so we took a lot from, you know, yeah. from as much from the real life as we could, especially, you know, with the, with the environment. Yes. Um, now we also know that you guys um, have written a lot of different genres. Can you tell us more about the vampire worlds that you both love to write about? Ooh. Yeah, I love vampires. I love, I did, um, I'm old enough, I'm quite a bit older, so I'm old enough, I started actually writing historicals under another name. So yeah. I wrote historicals, and then I went to vampires when I fell in love with Buffy. It was, you know, a, Me a too. huge I Buffy, know. Buffy, Buffy fans. So I was like, I, ha I just have to try this. So my vampires actually have a lot of humor in them. They're not quite as dark or... That's the best. Um, has, yeah, I have a lot of humor, and so that's where my love for comes from. Like I said, I'm older, so Buffy. And yeah, I just I watched just, it, so I don't care. I just, just rewatched <laughs> all of that. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love um, you. <laughs> so, Spike. um... I miss Spike. Yes, team, yep. team Spike. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so how... It's such a, you know, popular um, genre, the the whole vampire thing. How do you bring something fresh and new to the kind of, like, vampire-saturated market? I love vampires all the time, but some people might say, you know, why didn't you choose another kind of creature? How do you kind of bring a fresh spin when you when you write about them? Well, I, I think the spin can come from two places, and one being your own world, how you create it. Right. And I think the other one is about what your personal fantasies are about vampires mine yeah. are the opposite of alex's mine are super dark and yeah. super sexual and the world is dark and dangerous and and um you know Sorry. they're having major you know pains within i know i'm gonna have dark barking dogs in a minute i'm yeah sure. i know i'm so sorry <laughs> oh it's fine so, our office so i right. think i think yeah. that's really i think it's about your personal what your personal fantasies are about a world and how you would create a world and what your 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 um, fantasies are about um, relationships and mm -hmm. you know Alex writes funny and kick-ass um, heroines and heroes and that I mean and you find that in a lot of her work because mm -hmm. a she writes it so well but it's also like what she's attracted to too so I think that's how you yeah. make it fresh is because it's really coming from your guts. What what does it for you? What you love to read? Yeah. What you know? What fantasy you want to give to the readers? Yeah, your interpretation, absolutely. Yeah. Who do you think is the sexiest vampire of all time in books, TV, oh, movies? Who do you think? Spike. Spike. <laughs> Me too. Spike. <laughs> Spike. <laughs> no, Spike. Really. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, and just, just thinking, just saying that name, it gave me the show. Oh, no, just, just from the hot tweet, flash. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Yep, and I, <laughs> I like um, one of my very favorite three things is a bad boy. I love to have um, one story where the bad guy, and then the next story is him redeemed in some mm -hmm. way. Um, yeah. That's my absolute favorite thing to do. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. Oh, she's moving again. <laughs> All right, I know. But yeah, I know the dogs are gonna work. Right. So I have to. No, move it's it. fine. <laughs> I like it that we're so flexible here. Okay. So, um, <laughs> when did you guys? Um, <laughs> when did you start getting involved with A Thousand and One Dark Nights? Can you tell us about Ooh. when you started talking to those guys? 
Oh, that was, uh, it was such an amazing take us, thing. Take us, baby. Yeah. We all, you know, that's when, um, when, uh, Laura Adrian, Donna Grant, and Alex and I, we met there to plot, um, our Masters of Seduction series. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Laura actually told us about 1001 Dark Nights, and we were all foaming at the mouth to, to get involved. And, um, we were so, thrilled and excited when they asked us to be a part yes. of it, especially that we get to do it together with the Bayou series. Have you um, been in touch with any of the other authors in A Thousand and One Dark Nights? Do you ever kind of collaborate with, you know, share ideas? We actually um, I mean, we're friends knew with, almost we're friends all of them. them. Yeah. 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 So we Chris, don't really Chris collaborate. Chris Rice but... lives in the area. Christopher oh, cool. Rice lives um, here in Los Angeles. Yes, so we so keep jealous. trying to um, make plans to go to dinner, and we're going to collaborate on drinking together. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would be up for it. He seems hysterical. I know. He's so I know. funny. I can't wait to I can't wait to hang out with him. <laughs> Jillian Greenfield so has a has a little um, comment. She says, "Shaken or frozen?" Uh oh, <laughs> uh, oh. shaken. Um, shaken, shaken mm -hmm. with salt. Yes. Oh, me too. Lots of salt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I like her line of questioning. Let's keep yeah, those I do coming. too. <laughs> did she, did she, she, is she doing this from like her mountain cabin thing that she keeps throwing in our faces? I know. Are you, are you Jillian? Where are you? Where are yeah, you that's, what, I mean, isn't, isn't that part of the 1001 Dark Nights? I want to go to the mountain cabin. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Judy yeah. Bouldry said that question coming from Jilly makes total sense. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Jillian yes, also yes. said, "What is your favorite book of each other's?" Oh, that's that's really super hard. It's really hard. I I would pick a little bit one, but I'm not going to. Yeah, Mark and Vampire series is just kick it because. I actually love, love, love to read dark, um, mm -hmm. sensual stories. I can't write them myself, but I love. love I'm a big too. sin fan, but um, but I'm. I mean, I'm big sin fan. I'm a big Levette fan, and um, but I have to pick Raphael because when we first started this whole craziness, you know, mm -hmm. you, you you cross your fingers, right? Because there's a lot of things that come into play. Like, are you gonna? be able to work well together or your voice is going to mesh even though they're not in the exact same right. work. Um, and I remember when Alex sent me Raphael, which is the first book in the Bayou Heat series, um, and I read it I and I read it all the way through in a very short period of time and I first felt com just completely fell in love with this guy, but I also yeah. saw what we could do together. And so yeah. I have to say Raphael, he was always my first. Awesome. <laughs> so there. Aww. Anything to add, Alex? Is a close second. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Um, I would love to have a friend that I write with. Amazing. Oh. I need to get on that. <laughs> what are your earliest writing memories? Does anything come into mind, earliest writing memories? Oh, when I was writing? Yes, I definitely. I started writing when my boys were very, very small. It took me a long mm -hmm. time to get published. but So I remember sitting outside and having one, like, crawling on top of my head, and the yeah. other one, like, being on my foot or something. like. And I was, like, like writing. And I remember someone walking by, like, staring at me because we were outside. And I was and, – and I stopped and I thought, this is not a typical mother. <laughs> But we all made it through it now. They're you know. still doing that. They okay. still they still come by and do that every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, they're still doing that. They're still crawling on your head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they, 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 At least yeah. uh Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um my earliest you? memory was like I was think I was around I don't know, early, early twenties and I had read all of the um Victoria Holt historicals. Mm. Oh. And I was, first of all, I think it was really my first step into romance and I, reading romance. And um, I was blown away and I, and I really, really, really wanted to try. And I remember sitting down and, and um, writing my sort of my own first chapter version of one of those. And it, of course, was horrible. It was, you know, it had every little, you know, um, ridiculous in it Every from myself that. that I love it's horrible but it 
it felt amazing to yeah. actually do. That's great. And then um, it became kindling later for our fire. <laughs> Collected dust and <laughs> kindling. Yeah. <laughs> Pushed under the bed or something. <laughs> um, so I know we, we mentioned earlier kind of doing the self-pub thing and traditional publishing. Do you have any tips for writers looking to self-publish some other work? Ooh. <laughs> I have a lot of tips for self-publishing. You know, self-publishing is so amazing. It's super hard. So you have to be prepared to work really hard and be patient. But it's um, it's amazing and so freeing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the, the first thing, obviously, is to write the best book you can write and write a book that is, you know, totally um, something that you would want to read, you know, the kind of book that you want to write, not just to a market or what you think right. is selling out there, but something mm -hmm. you really, really want to write. And then get it really well edited, really yes. um, well formatted so that it's really professional. Mm -hmm. And um, and get an online presence. I mean, you have to have a Facebook page, you have to have Twitter, and and reach out to your other author friends so that you can cross promote each other and help each other out, especially if they're in the same genre genre that you're in. Yeah. Um, but I think that, you know, really having a relationship with your readers online is number one mm -hmm. and, and, and making it a constant relationship, not, you know, once a week that you're that you're writing on your Facebook page or Twitter. You, I mean, right. I hate to say it, but it has to be constant at, at least yeah. once a day. Exactly. Those are my we're, big we're, ones. Yeah. How about you, Alex? And professional. I mean, from everything, from the cover to, like she said, editing. Um, and and how you interact on Facebook, um, you know, everything mm -hmm. has to be as polished and super professional as possible. Otherwise, you know, once your first impression is is your impression that you give. So you right. never, ever want to put anything out there that isn't as polished and perfect as possible. Yeah. Now, um, I know, you know, that one time that Alex put out a picture of herself in a thong, it was like a huge mistake. I and did. I told her, I don't go that she far, but you know, no, 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 no. you told me to get a tattoo and do it again. Team, is what you told it was me. a team spike thong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The tattoo, you know that would have been appropriate. Yeah. I know, yeah. No one wants to see me in a, in a thong. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, okay, only Laura do does. <laughs> only Laura does. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's always the delete button. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. yeah, no doubt. <laughs> just, speaking yeah, of social like, media, are one of you like a Twitter freak? Is do you gravitate more towards Facebook? Is there somewhere that will find you more often posting so we know where to look? I think we're both bigger Facebook. Facebook. It's yeah. just you know the thing about Facebook is that you can you can um, you can have so many people uh, interacting at the same time, and doesn't feel like that on Twitter at least. I, I haven't felt it like that. I mean, yeah. Twitter's really fun for sort of one-liners and interacting, you know, quickly. Right. But, but Facebook yeah. is the it feels like the most intimate way to talk to readers that I've I ever agree. found. Yeah. yeah, and I, you know, I have a lot of them that are connected. So if I put it on Facebook, then it goes to Twitter. Right. So you try to catch, or my blog, you know, yeah. I try to catch it that way. I suck That's at Twitter. Awesome. I wish I was better. <laughs> yeah, it's they're both totally, totally different. Um, we have a couple more questions coming in. Um, Anne Ivy says, I love the Bayou Heat series. Do you plan to continue it for a while, as I hope? Yes. Mm -mm. No. Yes. <laughs> Laura's coming. <funny. Yeah. laughs> uh, no, Anne. No, no, no. I was going to say. Who is it, Anne? Do, do your little is teams. it Anne? <gasps> Anne, it's coming. It's coming. Can you see it? Ooh. Teaser. Okay, that's the first hint. Teaser, teaser. That's the first January. <laughs> that's awesome. that's so yes, we do. First we do. Ever. You know, yes. we're gonna we're gonna do our Bayou Heat series. But what else, Deb? What else are we doing? We are doing a very new spinoff series off the Bayou Heat. Can Ooh. I say the name? Yeah. Have we build it. Yeah. We love heat. To hear it. And it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be no, hot Miami movie. nights. Mm. What was the title? So if you've been keeping know. up, if you if you've been reading yeah. all the Bayou Heat, you know that there is another. A group of shifters in the wetlands mm -hmm. in, uh, yes. in Florida. In Miami. So, um, we're going to be going. We're going to be going there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Puma so heat, baby. Coming. Puma heat. Awesome. I can't wait. That's exciting. So I know, um, a little Latina flavor. 
Um, so how about the covers? You just showed the cover of the book. Do you, um, how much input do you kind of do? Do you, for the self-published, is that totally all you? Do you, you know, work with all different designers or? We have no. one designer that does all our Bayou Heat. It's, no. it's Trish, Picky. Awesome. Picky me. Nice. Um, she is fantastic. She's incredible. And she, you know, for the most part, she, you know, she does all of this. I don't, I don't think we, um. We don't have much to say. I remember when she sent the first cover of that, we were both like jaws yeah. on the floor. It was perfect. So uh, no, yeah. she's done our branding. She's um, she's done uh, all our covers for us. And they're one more beautiful than the next. Excellent. Yes. And that's, that's another thing with self-publishing, like Alex was saying, yeah. is that, you know, your cover, it, it really speaks volumes Everything. about, yeah. you know, what your what your subject matter is, who you are as an author, how much how you want to attract readers. Right. It's important. Um, we have another question from Diana. She says, when you have time to read something for your enjoyment, who is your go to author? Jeez. <laughs> We're authors. I know, sorry, I'm thinking because just I just uh I just read him by um who is it? Uh Serena oh! It's L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. And uh, L. Kennedy has sort of been my go-to lately. She writes these hockey players. I mean, it's Ooh. totally not paranormal. Hockey player, um, new adult, bad boy awesome. guys. How about you? Alex. <laughs> what are you reading? Um, I, actually, I actually read um, if I'm... When I'm not writing, I read fantasy. So I'm huge into the Game of Thrones, and I just finished up um, the Robert Jordan series, and I'm deep into uh, Brandon Sanderson. Um, I love. Oh man, love Christopher Sanderson. Rice just so, popped in. He's my go-to read. Oh he's God. Said, hi, hi everyone. Greetings from a fellow Dark Knights author. If each one of you could take one romance novel to a desert island for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Uh oh. See. Please. That's a great question. Alex? Damn it. Alex? <laughs> it's tough. Alex? Ah. Did she answer? <laughs> I think she got cut out for a Go. Minute. Oh, no. You Can you hear us, Alex? Yeah. Hi. Oh, please. God, the storm. Because she has a storm rolling through her neck of the woods, so that's okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. My desert island book. Oh, my desert island. This is so uh, okay. Uh, that will be um, oh, okay. the so Fever series. I can now. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> the storm. The storm. Can you hear us, Alex? Oh my god. Oh, mine would be. Mine would the be easy. Mine's Pride over. and Prejudice. I know. I think you cut out for a while. Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> She's back. Oh, no. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I can. Well, not to worry. Okay, so, um, and I did, I know. This, question seriously, this how storm fun is and like how crazy. difficult is writing with another author, which you started talking about. Was there any difficulty doing this together ever? <laughs> oh, with the two of us? Yeah. <laughs> Never. Oh my god. All fun. Honestly, and I mean that when I mean that sincerely, it is all always a pleasure. Always. I, I you know, Alex is so easy to work with. We're so chill. I mean, it's like, do you want to do this? Let's yeah, let's do this. Why don't you know? It's there is never an argument. There is never. We you know we have such respect for each other and just a desire to please readers and have fun. So we never yeah. ever have a problem unless. Alex is, is is harboring a secret resentment against me. <laughs> you love your margarita fueled writing sessions. <laughs> and yeah. And we love our world so much. I mean yeah. 
<laughs> we have, um, you know, our, our world um, has been. So Jillian is saying, I just know that. <laughs> Yay, Spike, In our world, Jillian. it has been so deeply <laughs> embedded already. Joel so said, it's you so all met sexy vampire besides me, right? Ha -ha, and the margarita funny. Funny. funny, Joel. He's a book trip staff member. <laughs> and Jillian said she's home. In a, in a closet uh, vampire. We have all these fun people talking on the side, having little chats. So um, what are other authors that you guys have worked with um, before this, if any? I'm sure you've done some other collaborations that we'd love to hear about. We have. We, you know, like I said, we, we did the Masters of Seduction series with Laura Adrian and Donna mm -hmm. Grant. You and that was so much fun, yeah. right, Alex? <laughs> Can you hear us? <laughs> oh, no. Alex! The storm no, no. Gods. I know. <laughs> you feel it? The wind is blowing over there. We had we had so much fun doing that. Anthologies, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, and what do you think uh, I've done favorite memories I've you've ever had, like interacting with a fan. Is there something that we didn't really out your memory? Together. I'm here. You know, every time I go to Romantic Times, that seems to be the, the place where that happens a lot. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's I have to say, that place is amazing, crazy and amazing. Yeah. And fans do these um, these incredible uh, like pieces for their scrapbooks, you know, with like all your book covers on them. And they'll do a separate one. Well, they did, I mean, that's uh, things I treasure is they do separate ones just for you or them yeah. or uh, the tattoos. I've, act, I've had like, I think two of those of, from my yeah. vampires. I mean, seriously, there's nothing. Do you hear that? <laughs> Readers get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. that's. I noticed you have a lot of tattooed, tattooed guys on your covers too, which is awesome. Love it. <laughs> do, were you going to say something, Alex? Christopher Rice just um, popped in again, and he said... He's going to get a you, tattoo? He said, do you read while you're writing, or do you find it influences you too much to read the work of others while you're working? <laughs> I read all the time, but I don't read in the same genre I'm writing. So if I'm, mm. I'm writing Paranormal, yeah. I read a lot of New Adult, which is another huge favorite of mine. And if I'm, when I'm writing New Adult, then I read a lot of um, fantasy Paranormal. Or historical awesome. too. Excellent. How about you, Alex? All I heard was tattoos. Of the whole thing. <laughs> we look like the Brady Bunch looking at each other. I can't get over that. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. Yes, you are. You're like drifting in and out, but we can. I can hear you now. Again. I've had like three storms happen during live chats this summer. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, what is one of the best experiences that you both had as authors? Do you Can think, you hear like, me? Overall? Can you hear me? Dang, crazy. Am I here? <laughs> um, I, have, I, I try to read outside of whatever I'm um, reading. I know. When we did our, I um, um, Alex mentioned it, I, I do, couldn't hear it. I try well, to avoid reading whatever One of the other collaborations I'm that we do on, is a group so called So it doesn't influence me. With Cynthia, otherwise. Eden, Alex and I, Katie Rius, um, yeah. Elizabeth Naughton, and uh, Joan Swan. And mm -hmm. uh, the book that we did um, together made number uh, two on Amazon. It made the New York Times. It was like this crazy time when self-publishing was just, you know, was getting really, really hot. And it was mm -hmm. this incredible wave that we all took. And, and I don't know, there's something about um, writing with other people or being in a group of other people that you get to share that with. That was one of the sweetest times. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Alex did a little switcheroo. I know. <laughs> Is it better, Alex? Yeah. Oh, you got it though. You got it. Now we hear you. Perfect. And when and when Alex and I made USA Today with the Bi first Bayou Heat was awesome. Yeah. No, I did. 
And then I started hyperventilating and drinking and I don't know. Everything's involving right. drinking. I don't 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 read into that anything. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, do you have any upcoming conferences, workshops, signings, I mean, anything happening in the near future that where you I would like to share? share? I think so. Alex does. It's like, God, it's, you oh, know, you're it's just like at a conference. the storm is like moving through. So, oh, oh, great. you know. Okay, I'm here now. <laughs> I called her and I'm seriously, she was like, Quit in lying. Vegas. Quit lying. I'm trying, still trying to convince <laughs> yeah, Alex to come yeah. with me. I, I'm going to do everything <laughs> possible and hope that there's like a major yeah. snowstorm right before. Yeah. And that'll force her in. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe no, even like was, a little um, a get together, exciting. writing get together, which I've always wanted to do with a few other authors where we just, oh. um, where we all write together separate things, but we're all writing together, you know, and stop and have dinner. Do I say have drinks again? And, mm -hmm. um, and write some more, um, you know, kind of a workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing yeah. the desert, uh, Dreaming in the Desert, it coming which up. is in Scottsdale, oh, Arizona, um, in April. Yeah. So oh, yeah, Art of the Unix, too, yeah. Yeah. Now, what are some of your favorite things to do when you're not busy writing your books? I'm sure you're always busy. <laughs> I was just going to say, are those are there those times? Uh, is there such a thing, right? There, yeah. Margaritas. So go home. Number one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. RWA next year. Yeah. I'm a big gardener. I love gardening. And, um, you know, I have young kids still, so they keep me plenty busy in their lives, extracurriculars and things like that. But I love cooking, too, yeah, and I do. Um, my husband hey, works yeah, in the hard. theater, so um, I love to anytime travel I can whenever, whenever I can. catch a play, those kinds of things, yeah. Like, but, yeah, um, writing, writing, and more writing. See, and reading, which amazingly, taken up with. you know, when I'm writing, Fantastic. is just severely limited. So for those who so, just tuned in, um, can I you am tell so us again what you're working on like, next? I'm so bored. I have just a little cover thinking, reveal. Oh God, for an hour, just In case anyone missed. Should I do it again? You know. Yeah. But yeah, so are our, we're doing the next see. Bayou Heat. Where did it just go? Um, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Here we go. It'll come out in January, and um, this is our cover. I got Amazing. It. I know. This was so hot. Yes. So oh, just to explain, awesome. like, how this works with the two of us in our weird, crazy ways with writing is that in the book In Rage, um, I came up with a character named Ice. Mm -hmm. and, and when I write, when I'm writing and I come up with these characters, I'll usually think, oh, God, Alex will want that guy. Yeah. Yeah. She'll want to yeah. do him. Not do him, but, you know, say, <laughs> she'll want to write his story. She, or she may. I, I'm no one to judge. Um, <laughs> but she'll want to, she'll be like, oh, I want, I want that January. one. I, I want, so that'll be like the next hero. Yeah. So that's, you know, the crazy way in which we work. And that's what keeps it so fun. Mm -hmm. You guys are, Yes. <laughs> Well, it's been fantastic so having you on. I think Can't that wait. we're at the end of our questions. Seems I've covered everything. Is there anything else you want to tell us or anything to dish? Just we're, we love our readers so much, and, and we're so excited to be part of the 1001 Dark Nights family. Woo -hoo! And we expect to be in the mountains with you people next time or on the beach or whatever. <laughs> right, Alex? What's up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Either way. I know. We see what you're doing without yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we we hate to end on a bitter yeah. note, but you know, oversharing. <laughs> it is. Maybe oh. we'll do some man wars tomorrow <laughs> on our Facebook page. Let's do some, to Alex. We have one more question from Christopher Rice. That's hilarious. Any oh God. For an MM Where are we going MM to dinner? Look at that. We do. <laughs> See Christopher Rice's question. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And in fact, I just read him. Right. 
um, which yeah, is the one like, in the, which is like, Serena, Serena Bowen and um, L. Kennedy when and two going, and we're not uh, guy either. hockey players. Yeah, yeah, it was and, and, and it completely so set me off here, to like, wanting to write bias. one. So Just what saying. we may do is we'll, we may do like Alex may do yeah, yeah, a male but, female yeah. and, and I'll really take bitter, the yeah, we're male male maybe just to like <laughs> you know start us off. I think we have to yes. do that with Puma Heat for sure. Yeah, I right? think everyone should stop by for Absolutely. a little advantage. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't wait to see what yeah. you have up your sleeves next. And it was great chatting with yes, you guys. We, and I wanted to we uh, have, know that we're we have um, talked about giving this away uh, yes. their favorite things yes, bags, yes. some mystery bags full of their favorite stuff. So please stop by Book Trib after the chat and enter to win. And as always, it was a fantastic time with the 1001 Dark Knights crew. You guys are always the best. Thank you. No, we can hear you now. It was great. Thank you so much. Pageant wave. Pageant wave. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Yes. Thanks again. Bye. Right. Yeah.